Hi, I'm Jen from House One, and today I'm showing how to apply a whitewash finish. Whether you're revamping an old piece of furniture or treating bare wood, applying a whitewash finish is the perfect way to lighten the look while still maintaining the appearance of wood grain. Whitewashing is a semi-opaque finish applied to an existing finish or bare wood with the goal of allowing the base coat or wood grain to shine through. There are several premixed products available to create the look or you can make your own. Today I'm going to be mixing one part water with one part white water-based paint. Stir the mix and then brush it onto the wood. Wait a minute for it to soak in, but not so long that the paint starts to dry or feel tacky. Using a cloth, wipe away the excess. Wiping lightly with a slightly damp cloth will leave a more opaque finish, while wiping several times with a drier cloth will create a more transparent finish. For an even more opaque finish, allow the paint to dry and then apply a second coat. Another option to increase or decrease the opacity is to change the ratio of water to paint. Once you know the basics, try these variations. Apply water to a board to raise or pop the grain. Apply the whitewash solution, and then scrape it off with a putty knife to highlight the raised grain. Next, try applying a thin layer of gray paint mixed with water to a wood that would typically have a yellow undertone, like pine, to help mute the undertone color. Once dry, apply a whitewash finish to complete the look. Lastly, apply dark stain to a rough wood. Once dry, apply a whitewash finish and then scrape off the excess for a weathered rustic look. I hope this information was helpful. For more easy woodworking projects and tutorials, visit the House One channel on thisoldhouse.com. I'm Jen Largis, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. This Old House has got a video for just about every home improvement project. So be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.